ready to do pink and I'm gonna I'm not gonna bake between pink just because I'm here and I'm not gonna do very much if it, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and and play not gonna do a lot I'm just gonna follow the lines I already have and talk about stuff let's see um interesting thing the other day I was cleaning out a cupboard it was like a little cabinet that we used to have a TV in our sunroom on and no we never used that TV we're not connected to cable and we're not a TV on all day family I mean we watch movies once in a while and we have an old weep uh, video game that the kids sometimes play but other than that we don't really do much television and um, so we moved the TV out to my son's studio because he could use it for a monitor. It's a really big TV, but he could use it when he's making videos. And so I was cleaning out the cabinet and I found a bunch of old pictures because that cabinet used to hold all of our old pictures a long time ago. And there was this teeny weeny little picture of a baby. It was one of those, I don't know if they do it anymore, but way back when, when dinosaurs roamed the earth, when you had a baby, the hospital would do hospital pictures and they'd always be these little funny looking pictures. So this was from 1985 and it was a picture of a baby named Adam who was the son of a friend of mine that I worked with at that time. And we both went through our pregnancies together and we had our kids a couple of weeks apart. And we weren't like super great close friends, but I think our pregnancies bonded us at, at work. And we did a lot of stuff together, and I actually babysat him for a little while when she had to go back to work. I didn't go back to work, so I was home. So until she could firm up with a, a regular daycare provider, I kind of um, helped out a little bit. So I had this little picture of him, and it had his name and her name on it, and I hadn't thought about them in years. We just lost, lost track of each other, and... Uh, so I Googled them and I Facebooked them and I think I found him in one of those pay $40 and we can find anybody for you sites. But really, I just can't find them anywhere. It's like they disappeared off the face of the earth. Um, I looked up her partner at the time. I looked up her under her maiden name. I looked up him. I had his middle name. I just happened to remember it. And I knew their ages and I knew his birth date and just the strangest thing. And after like an hour, I thought, what am I doing? I find a picture and I'm obsessing about finding these people when I haven't thought about them in years. But I just had this, I can't explain it. I just had this feeling that I needed to find them. And I gave myself a time limit because I really didn't have the time to play super sleuth yesterday. I had so much going on, so I gave myself about an hour, an hour and a half to find them on the internet. I realized that I wasn't, uh, you know, a Sherlock Holmes. I just probably would make a terrible private detective. I gave up really fast. But I think what it is, is that it's usually pretty easy to find old friends and family now that we have so much social media. Um, and I'm just, and he seems to be the age. I mean, he's the same age as my daughter. My daughter does social media. Um, maybe it's just not his thing, or maybe he moved out of the country. I don't know. But I was not able to find them very easily. So I sort of gave up. And I thought about them all day today. And I'm wondering if maybe that deserves a little bit more time and effort. I sometimes feel like sometimes those things happen for a reason. Like I'm supposed to look for them. I don't know, but I thought it was interesting, all that from a tiny little picture found at the bottom of a drawer. And I got a big party to go to tonight. I'm kind of excited. A friend of mine is turning 50 and she's never had a party before. And um, her husband isn't like the super social guy. So she's, you know, just kind of not ever really had a big celebration at her house, especially just not for her. So I think she deserves to be celebrated. She's pretty awesome, and I'm glad to be invited. I like being on the top of her invite list. It makes me happy. She's a very nice person. Okay. 
Okay. I think that's okay. What do you think? I think it looks cool. Okay, I am done with that head. I'm gonna do hands and feet. Um, have my little Gorilla Guy in the oven, and I just rinsed and rinsed and rinsed my hair, my mohair, and here it is. And I have a zip tie on it so that I can comb it, but some of it came out, and that's okay. And I have a lot of variation. And it came out the pink I thought it would, not super bright magenta pink, just a really pretty pink with, I think it's pretty anyway. I want to get rid of the cloudy hair, but keep that. So that's kind of what we have going on. And that's what I'm going to root onto the gorilla. And you can see where some of this hair was brown or gray, that um, the pink turned a different color on it. And that is fine with me. I don't want it to look like I glued cotton candy to this to this gorilla. This hair is really pretty. You wouldn't know it by looking at it. And don't worry, I'm not going to waste all that hair. I'm just going to keep this super agreeable hair over here. And then I'll work on that other stuff and see what I can salvage. But for the most part, I'm going to put my energy on this over here. I think I can get rid of some of this up here. I hate getting rid of that because it's really good hair. It just needs to be detangled, but it's the wrong color. That's just lovely. Look at that. So pretty. It's so pretty. That's so shiny. Hopefully I have enough for the whole Gorilla, I hope I do, or I'll just have to comb and dry more. It's a little time consuming, but I think it's worth it. I'm going to use a 42 multi barb needle. I would prefer a thicker needle, but I don't have a thicker needle, so I'm going to use what I have. Fingers crossed. Um, I don't want this to look pluggy, but at the same time, that vinyl is really tough stuff, and so I'm gonna have a hard time putting this hair in. Luckily, I'm working with adult mohair, so it's a little bit thicker, but I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna play with that a little bit. So that's that. Welcome back. We're putting that pink hair to work. I am just gonna get some of the hair that I rooted here wet and take a look at what it looks like and it is the pink that I was hoping for and I've got it all over my shirt too and just to keep this manageable I may trim it or not I'm not sure I'm rooting this directionally um, and so when it's done it'll look like this but I am going to trim it up once I, I get a little bit more hair done and um, I am combining some of the white hair that I have here that I cleaned up with some of the pink hair. I have been rooting for a little while. Um, I'm a mess. I have hair, <laughs> pink hair all over me. Um, this is where I'm at so far. And um, it's barely pink. It's just a very fluffy. I didn't want cotton candy, but I think I got cotton candy. And that's okay. I mean, I'm not done yet. I'm going to go a little thicker up here with some more of this darker pink hair. I started on some of the limbs. I think they're hairy enough, but I think I might want them to be a little bit more hairy. And I broke so many needles. The limbs are soft, but the head is painfully hard. So. I mean, I'm trying to look at all these needles I broke. I broke a ton of them. Um, it was not easy. Luckily, I bought like 25 of these, but it's weird to think that I'm gonna use all 25 on one sculpt. So these are all my broken needles. These are needles that are about to break because they bend the wrong way from jabbing in that head. And so they've got a few good pokes left in them and, that, and that's it. And it is painfully hot today in this studio. So I'm going to do my best to get this arm done. And then I think I'm going to 
take a little break and I'll come back tomorrow. And I am determined to get this little gorilla completed today. And I am done rooting. I looked up some photos online of baby gorillas and they are not born with, you know, all their, their hair or their fur. I'm not sure which one they have. I'm just gonna trim up a little bit. Um, just like with humans, you know, they're, they're born with some soft kind of baby hair. And so I think this is enough, and it looks really cute when um, when the conditioner's on. So I think once I'm, you know, at the end of putting this baby together, I might put a little bit of hair gel and uh, to keep this curly and have a wet look. This hair is nice and wavy, and um, I try to just trim it the same length all the way around. But look at how sweet that looks. Uh, it's just the right pink. I'm really happy with that. So the next step is to seal up that hair. So when we push the hair in with the needle through here, ends of the hair come out in here. And what I do is I use a little bit of Mod Podge, this stuff, and get it at the crack. What I'm going to have trouble with is that chin because I'm not going to be able to get in where the chin hairs are. What I might do is I just might run my finger under there. So I'll just glue up my finger. So we've got the finger glue thing here. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm just gonna rub my finger down in there. So um, there we go, that's perfect. I can feel that little bits of hair. I'm gonna get all around in there. Terrific. So there we go. I'm not sure if you can see in there. It's a hot day, so it's probably gonna dry really, really quickly. So I'm gonna have to glue all these limbs, make sure all that hair's in there. Oh. While that is all drying and doing its thing, I want to talk a little bit in just one second about. So this was about mohair. So this was the mohair that I used to um, to root the baby. And if you've been watching the videos, you know that we it was raw mohair and we processed it, conditioned it, dyed it. And it worked fine. It was great. Um, I did go through 20 needles which was a drag, um, and it's because the head was so darn hard. What I did do is I thought, what if somebody doesn't have the mohair, or they want to use a color that, you know, and they, they don't feel comfortable dying, or they don't want to go through all of that. Could they use a synthetic hair? So this is, and I trimmed this off of a cosplay wig that I have. This is synthetic hair. It's so pretty, and I was hoping that it would work because it is really nice. And uh, I'll show you what it came from. It came from just a regular, cosplay wig. I bought two different pinks thinking maybe I would try to use that and I did. I didn't film it because I gave it a couple stabs and it just wasn't worth it. Um, the hair is thick and it doesn't like to be rooted with a regular rooting needle and I did try and it was just like I couldn't like directionally root it. It was sticking up all over the place. It did not look good. So if you're thinking about doing that, I mean, by all means, give it a shot. There might be something that I wasn't doing right, but I think that my goal was to try to save you a little time and um, use the mohair. It's not too difficult to dye. Or, you know, you can buy some online. There are lots of great uh, mohair hair dealers that offer hair in all kinds of really cool colors, and you can even call them and request a color. It might cost you a little bit more to get a custom color, but if you're not comfortable doing it, they'll do it for you. So we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna work on the body. And I think I went over in another video, I may have or may have not, I can't remember. This is the body that was sent with this gorilla, and I just feel like it's too big. This is just too big, it's, it's not the right size. It may be what is intended, but I just don't feel good about it, for me personally. So what I did was I drew on here, uh, places that I would cut and sew. Unfortunately, I don't know how to remove the joint, so I would have to actually hand sew it. Some of this I could turn inside out like the body and machine sew, but um, I think it's going to look messy. Mm -hmm. And So what I think I'm going to do, I think this is about a 19 inch. I do have some cuddle bodies that are 19 inch or 20. I think I'm going to go through my stash and see if I can't pull one of those out. 